All right, today, guys, we're getting Black Widow ready for our cruise. 200 total miles of Fury, up mountainous hills, back roads. That doesn't sound like a lot for a standard vehicle, but for a truck like ours, it's going to take a beating. So we got some extra gas cans for our amazing gas miles we're getting. We're going to need to have those. And we only got like one gas station the whole drive, so we're going to at least have 25 gallons of gas. We're going to work on putting the hood back on today. We're gonna have to notch out the hood. People always ask, why is there no hood on the truck? It's because, hey, well, it won't fit, you know? The turbos, you know, it happens. Uh, we're also gonna run to the parts store, grab some spare spark plugs, V-belts, some more oil, transmission fluid, anything we could possibly need on the road trip, just in case something happens. We're also gonna drain our catch can, check all of our fluids, you know what? Just get it ready to go for the cruise. Wife's going to be helping out today, doing some wrench time, film time, very different helping today. We're going to back the truck on out and get started. So we got the hood on the truck. We're gonna be using a high-tech formula for cutting these out. We're using some cardboard. We're gonna be tracing out where the turbos are on both sides. We're gonna be using some scissors and some Sharpies to notch out, to trace out the cardboard and do it into the hood. Let's get started. So we got one finished. Holy moly, that took forever. All right, so it looks terrible right now. Oh, well, you're like, oh God, you ruined the hood. This is gonna look better, trust me. We're gonna take this around some of our edges and we're gonna clean them up. And since we're putting the trim around all the edges, the edges don't have to be perfect. Here's once the trim goes up and around it, it'll make it look a million times better. But I, I don't even know. I need to look at a timestamp. That must have taken me two hours just to do one of these. I'm just sitting here fighting all my various different tools. Just fighting this one beyond belief. And then fighting. More fighting. Well, we got it done with forever taking this. Around corners was the hardest part. But hey, you got to use what you got to use. Probably should have found some different tools to do this, but in the finishing product, it's going to be good. We'll just wait and see. So, after a whole day's worth of cutting, hacking, <laughs> being pissed off, we're finally finished. Now, bear with me. We still got to put the trim on it. So, she's got a little bit of a dirty look, but it will be fine in the end. Two holes, perfect spots. We may actually turn the turbos up a little bit so that they stick out the hood a little more, but we'll see. We still have to adjust the hood, set up a little high in the back, a little off center, but this is just a roughness right now for it. 
We're gonna run up to the store, grab the trim for outside of this, including all the rest supplies we talked about for the road trip right now. So we're back from O'Reilly's and we tried to install the new trim and the stuff sucks. It is pretty much just a rubber, it's called itself edge trim and it's got a U shape too, but it's just made of rubber. The stuff that we have over here, it's got a metal inside of it, what allows it to flex and go around corners as you can see down here for one of the turbo air cutouts. It actually can go in a complete circle down there. That stuff's awesome. Um, so we ordered out some of that for the truck. We tried this stuff and it just, around the corners, it just wants to not stay in shape. So that's a bummer, but we'll get the new stuff this weekend. Probably won't have it in time for the cruise, but hey, that happens. All right, moving on to the next thing. They're filming with that. Down here a little bit. Why, why are you picking Hold that up, hold that up more, like that. Why are you trying to do that? Did you get it? Yeah. Truck is up on jack stands because we worked on some wiring under the truck for the new fuel gauge. The stock one does not work, so we got a new aftermarket one down below connected to our sending unit back on our fuel cell. This is going to be great because we either kind of had to guess how much fuel is in here or we uh, had to get close to running out, which was a pain. So now we're going to know how much fuel is in the fuel cell when we carry around our two extra containers so we don't run out of gas on the cruise. We have to get ready. Also, the next day we have a car show that we've got to go to. So after the cruise, we're going to have to bring this thing back and clean it up, get it all spick and span looking good for the car show the next day. So let's move on to the next thing on our list. Hammer this out. On the left, we got ourselves our cold plugs, right, hotter plugs. The left ones are meant for our dyno days, track days, high boost days, everything other than what we've been doing lately. So we're switching over to a little hotter style plug, which is still colder than a standard plug, but should help with burning of the, the gas. We're having some problems with a lot of fuel buildup in non-boost situations. So let's switch over to these and hopefully she runs great for this weekend. So let's check our list to make sure we got everything done. Hood, check. Catch can, drained. Oil, checked. Transmission, checked. Fuel gauge, installed. Yep. Fuel tank mounting. I meant the extra canisters, not the actual fuel tank. That's, that's not done yet, but that will get done. So we're going to partial check. Uh, spark plugs, done. V-belt purchased and we're ready to roll. 